Good morning, children. Today, for class six English, we will start a new chapter. That is, lesson twelve. Where is my mother? This story is about a herd of wild elephants that left their sanctuary and entered the paddy fields in the nearby village in Assam. They were looking for food, while the villagers drove them away from their fields with lighted torches and loud cries. And in this panic and confusion, a baby elephant fell into a pit and was left behind. It was all alone. So Nalya, a greedy villager, found the baby and decided to sell it off. We will see in this story how the three friends, Danya. Bubble and Jaunty rescued the baby. Rescued means saved. How they saved the baby elephant and helped it get back to its mother. The story begins when Danya, Bubble, and Jaunty reached at Nalia's house. They stopped to look around, as the house was in total darkness. They entered the compound from the side, over the bamboo fencing, without making any kind of sound. They reached the cow shed, at the back of the house, and stopped suddenly. And dismay writ large on their faces means there was a worried look on their face, as. One of the Nalia's thug was sitting at the open entrance of the cowshed. The boys could not see the man clearly in the dim light, but they heard a snore. He was asleep. Nalia's guard was sleeping, and very carefully the boys. Reached into the cow shed, Jaunty switched on his torch, and searched the baby elephant. On the left side of the shed were two messy bulls. They were chewing the hay. Hay is the dry grass, and in the extreme right-hand corner of the shed, the elephant calf was tied up with a stout bamboo pole. And the rope around the baby's neck was tied to the pole. It made no sign that it was aware of the three boys. When they threw the torch light on baby's face, they saw that the baby was crying, as a stream of tears was pouring down its face. The boys. Went near to the calf, gently stroked its back. Bubble wiped its tears with the end of his shirt, and the calf responded by curling its trunk around the boy. The calf expressed its love for Bubble by showing such gesture of affection towards him. And then Jaunty and Danya both cut the loop of the ropes and gave the cut a ragged look, means frayed look, as if the calf has been struggling to escape. They wanted to show as if the calf struggled itself and had escaped without any outside help, while Bubble kept on stroking the baby's back. And just then, one of the bull made a loud bellow. Children, bellow means the shout to shout in a deep, angry voice. So the guard who was sleeping jumped to his feet, and the boys were exposed now, 
as the shed had no cover. But set the baby free, said Jaunty, as it was their only chance. And as soon as the ropes were cut off, the elephant calf shot off like an express train. It ran through the door and ramped straight into the guard, pushing him aside. Ran straight towards the gate. Ramped means to push. But the gate was closed. And so the baby elephant ran along the fencing that surrounded the compound. By that time the boys were out of the shed and they cut across the empty backyard of the fence. On their left and ran out towards the gate and waited there without anyone noticing them and watched the fun inside. The elephant calf was leading the man who was just shouting loudly, Escaped! Escaped! The elephant calf has escaped! And someone living nearby lighted the lantern within the hut and Nalia with other two persons also joined the furious chase to catch the baby elephant. And round and round the baby went. It even crashed into the walls of the hut as it was made of bamboo. The walls of the hut was weak. The calf crashed through a couple of inner walls hit the outer wall on the opposite side and rushed out of the house. Now, Nalia shouted loudly, Get the conky, the trained elephant. We will have to rope the calf back again. As conky was the trained elephant and it must be more stronger than the calf, it would be difficult to make the calf free again. So Danya thought for a trick. He put two fingers to his mouth and let out a piercing whistle. This was a trick his father had taught him. The effect of the whistle on the baby elephant was electric means it was sudden and exciting. So, with a great speed, the calf took off in the direction from which the whistle had come and went straight to the boys. The boys gave it an affectionate means loving welcome. An affectionate welcome was given to the calf. Then, the, then Bubble and Danya led the baby elephant into the sanctuary while Jaunty stayed back to set up a trap for Nalia and his men. At first, Danya, Bubble and the calf had a smart pace. Pace means the speed at which you walk or run. So at first they were walking with a smart speed, smart excitement. But then they had to slow down to find out the location of the mother elephant. But by that time the mother elephant let out a trumpet. Trumpet is the sound made by elephants. So the loud and clear sound of the mother elephant was recognized by his, by her baby. And soon with a great joy it rushed towards its mother. The mother also saw her baby and they both expressed their delight with a furious trumpet. The baby was safe now as it was being protected by her mother. The mother elephant will protect her from now onwards, while Nalia would be in a surprise. This story tells us how 
the humans can help the animals if the other human person is doing injustice towards the animal how these three boys helped the baby elephant reach to his to her mother and from this story we also come across that how we should be in a helping nature how we should help the animals in our best way thank you